All right, friends, good morning. I had my cup of coffee or two or three. Let me show you what happens uh, to the Walker uh, uh, engine swap. I finally got away and got down to Harbor Freight. This was, uh, I used my discount, got $100 off. Uh, it came out to be, uh, with tax, $641 and change. It comes, user's manual, spark plug uh, tool, extra set of exhaust gaskets, uh, high altitude jets, uh, It uh, came really packed good. Wow, it's not in there. Ah, it's an empty box. And there it is. I am really surprised on just how close this engine is to the rest of the engines out there. It's going to replace the Kohler engine without any headaches whatsoever eh, maybe a headache or two uh, I had to remove the exhaust system the uh, the control box it comes with a nice control box hmm? start off on start circuit breaker relay choke throttle uh, the exhaust the mufflers in the garage and uh, I had to remove the oil filter and the oil cooler. And right now I've got the uh, fan shroud guard off to match up the adapter, which came in yesterday. Uh, here's your adapter. You notice it's got three recessed uh, spots on it and four that are not. Okay, it comes with three Allen bolts, and I'll use Loctite. I'll pull this motor out and put it on the bench and do it right, and use Loctite and torque them down and all that good stuff. But uh, this adapter, if you look at where it goes, there's three spots right there on that flywheel and then there's a big bolt in the center that holds the flywheel on so I can't hardly use my left hand so I'll just hold it in there a little bit for you to see but uh, if I line it up there you can see where it goes in and adapts that to that flywheel it just bolts right over the top of it plate and all okay now if you look at the original Kohler PTO and pulley, this sets into the flywheel, and then this is cut, recessed, to go over the top like that. And if you can see, these all line up again. And you use, uh, I'm going to use stainless steel high grade bolts, lock washers, and and lock tight put that in there like that then once I get this started I'll take this and it's almost marked for the shaft to cut this open you'll cut it open on this one right here cut that open and this will slide over that shaft okay I the only big hurdle that I'm gonna have with this it came with an oil cooler just like the more expensive engines, it came with an oil cooler. I had to pull the oil cooler off. It comes with a nice little guard. And uh, there's the guard. Here's the oil cooler. Whether to run the oil cooler or not. If I hold it down in here, it lines up to this bracket. And goes back down I'll need longer oil cooler lines and I could drill this brace here and put a bolt here 
and a 90 degree bracket there or a 45 degree bracket that could come right off of that mount there okay and then put the uh, guard back on it and use a smaller oil filter I've got uh, interference fit between this wheel I couldn't put the oil cooler in because of here right and I have to run a smaller filter because of this wheel or if you notice it's slotted this comes out this adapter comes off and I could just run a smaller filter that might be happening until I get things ready and I'll just put it back the other way for right now I had to uh, I did this in the dark I put that in there without a hoist by myself I wrestled him in there it was like a wrestling match it's about 45 55 pounds you know and it's almost on the ground so it really works your back you have to shoehorn it in you have to come in at an angle and then drop it in like that I'm going to put that adapter on and then come up I may have to pull this gas tank out to get enough room to put the shaft and the pulley in on behind this uh, that would be the easiest way because the reason you have to shoehorn it is because it has the original output shaft this is a one inch shaft sticking here and as you can see it goes underneath I can stick my finger underneath it it goes underneath this frame rail so you got to come in and drop it in and, and lay it in that way and then I'll come in underneath and then put the uh, pulleys together for this PTO if I would have saw it doing this at night if I would have saw all this going on I would have moved this out of the way this was down in there like that bolted right here that was bolted there and it didn't give me any room at all and if I would have unbolted this and just moved it out of the way and moved this fuel line out of the way I would have had plenty of room but I was hard-headed and I didn't wait and I wanted to see if it would fit in there that night or last night and it does and I just couldn't wait made more work for me but uh, the fuel of the uh, throttle and the choke cable almost fits perfectly one of them does the choke cable the choke cable will work but the throttle cable is too short though they make universal cable and housings for that I'm really impressed on how this stock exhaust system fit right up to the engine and I know this is loose but this will come up there it goes I'm doing all I can to hold this hold the phone with this left hand but there it goes it'll bolt right in place huh and that and that'll go over there and it's not perfectly in line yet so once it lines up I could use the stock exhaust system I'm not worried about the wiring harness because this all comes apart and if you just transfer the plug over from the walker to this using all these the wiring here or the wiring in the box the fuel line fuel fuel goes here got few, plenty of fuel line to reach up and go here if I want to or pull this air cleaner cover apart and just run it directly in so I won't have to do this again and just run my filter on the outside of the of the uh, fan shroud so I will have to take it apart but that's the latest on the walker the blades did come in they're copperhead blades they're not the uh, they're not uh, they're twelve dollars and ninety five cents a piece uh, they're not the uh, uh, gator blade high mulch high, high grade mulching that I like but it was it'll do for now uh, I didn't see with that lift that's the three quarter inch lift on that blade and uh, the gator blade uh, sixes g6s are one inch really put, picks it up but I'm 
<coughs> what I plan on doing, there's a uh, flame spray and bee blast place up at uh, uh, Industrial Loop in Orange Park. I'm going to have this blasted, these two blasted, so that it'll fit really well for me and I won't have to struggle for that. Guy said he had charged me $20 and I could wait. So all this will slide, this pulley will slide up and down on the shaft real easy and this will fit real good so I won't have to struggle. Make it make it nice to install. Besides that, it looks pretty good. It looks nice in there. Once I close the hood, as same as the walker did with the TH16, they cut this open. Well, this comes in, and you see where I already marked it with my finger just to get an idea. Uh, this will have to be opened up. So when I close the hood, that air box will stick out. And that should work. I'm surprised. So a Predator engine will fit in a walker. All right. Today is rest and recuperate day. It beat me up pretty good last night. But uh, I thank you for looking. Thank you for watching. I'm still struggling with the left hand. I hit it pretty good when I was trying to get that uh, flywheel and pulley off. Actually, it was trying to get that pulley off that shaft. So, uh, thanks for checking on me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm ready to go back together with the other project I have in the house. I'll show you that a little bit later. And uh, everything's okay. I'm trying to stay busy. All right, guys, let me keep staying busy. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.